हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मनीकांसन स्टडी मंत्र आई होप एवरीवन इज स्टेइंग एट होम एंड सेफ प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ बिकॉज विदाउट हेल्थ हेल्थ विदाउट प्रॉपर हेल्थ वी कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग इन आवर लाइफ सो टू कंसंट्रेट वी नीड आवर हेल्थ टू बी क्वाइट healthy right so without wasting much more time this is our second continuation video of the previous one that means this is the part 2 of chapter number 5 that is solid liquid and gases so without much wasting much more time yesterday we uh, come to know about that different uh, states of matter we had discussed about it and what is matter what different states of matter we have discussed in previous video now uh, today we will start with a fresh topic that is called states of matter are interchangeable yes interchangeable the word interchangeable means what changeable first of all changeable changeable means what it can be changed now interchangeable means inter means what among in means one can be changeable from one form of or one state to the other state that means in between those states it can be changed from it can be changed that means from solid to liquid liquid to gas then again gas to solid or gas to liquid this type of interchanging the interchanging uh, phenomena can be take place can be taken place among them understood so this is called interchangeable property of states of matter now let us start the paragraph solid then liquid and gas are interchangeable states and these are the three states that can be interchangeable that means from one state to another can be changed quite easily now we have already studied about the three forms of water don't we know they are what they are in solid what what it is it is ice in liquid water is called water and in gaseous form water is called as what can anybody tell me yes it is steam so three different names are introduced for the same material that is called water but the states of all of them are different each of them are different right so you have to in activity 2 you have to do what you have to fill this table here look at figure 5.3 very carefully this is this is figure these are figure 5.3 if you look at it carefully you will come to know that there is a initial state see look at here this is initial state right initial state then heating after heating or cooling what happens then final state okay and what is this process called okay now come to this first of all the initial state was what ice then we have to convert it into what water so ice is becoming water how i can convert ice into water ice is the solid state of water i need to convert solid state into water that is liquid state by application of heat that means we have to use heat we have to take the help of heat such that we can convert ice into water that means we need heat so this uh this will be a heating process now what this process is called this type of process is called melting that means whenever solid is changed to liquid this process is called as melting now similarly you have to fill this other part also suppose in this you can say water into steam 
so from water it can be converted to steam but how by again heating only right if you heat if you supply heat to water the water become what boiled then only this process will be known as boiling isn't it here it is called boiling process if you look at here there it is written boiling that means this process should be of heating apply application of heat that means what agar yahan pe aapko boiling karna hai process jo hai wo boiling karna hai to aapko yahan pe definitely kya supply karna hoga heat hi to supply karna hoga aur agar heat supply karoge to isko kya bola jayega heating right not cooling it will be a heating process so whenever water you heat it will become to it will become steam understood or water vapor now similarly you have to fill this i am not going to give you the clue but here's one clue is itself given see cooling is given that means what from liquid to it might be solid some kind of but here it is ice that means it is solid so here it must be what solid to solid hobo nahi ho sakta so yahan pe kya ho sakta hai ya to aapko लिक्विड लिखना होगा यहाँ पे या फिर लिक्विड ही लिखना होगा लिक्विड ही लिक्विड से ही तो आप आ, क्या कहते हैं इसको आइस में बदल सकते हैं ना डेट मीन्स यू कैन कन्वर्ट लिक्विड वाटर इनटू आइस बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ कूलिंग डेट मीन्स इफ यू पुट और कीप दिस वाटर कंटेंट इनसाइड योर रेफ्रिजरेटर वेयर कूलिंग प्रोसेस विल टेक प्लेस एंड द वाटर इन दैट कंटेनर विल बिकम what ice it will change into solid so it will be a process of what this process will be known as solidification you write down here solidification and later you you can put here another term and i am asking you to complete this table okay i hope you will be able to do it now come to the next paragraph it is clear that from a uh, figure 5.3 that one form of matter can be changed into another by heating or by cooling and understood so now take a wax wax moon that means you uh, take a wax candle light it and let it burn first of all you have to take a candle then light it with the help of some matchsticks then let it burn and observe it carefully what will happen what happens to the wax after some time what will happen we all know na that the wax will become the candle will become shorter shorter and at last it will vanish completely it will be vanished right so what is happening there see initially it was a wax candle that means wax is in a solid form which is becoming first liquid if you look at the flame just near the flame of that candle it is becoming some kind of liquid substance we can see some kind of liquid substance there isn't it and that liquid substance is the evidence of becoming uh, that means conversion of solid wax into liquid state isn't it again after some time what will happen that liquid will also be uh, converted get converted into what gas when uh, due to which the liquid is also vanishing time to time that means as that gradually it it vanishes understood it becomes mr india understood i hope you got got the what my point so jokes apart now um, okay now let us discuss this oral questions what are these oral oral questions so uh, choose the correct answer first of all you need to find uh, choose the correct answer here first solid then liquid or liquid or gases have a fixed shape and a fixed volume which have a fixed shape and volume both fixed shape and fixed volume it 
definitely it is solid now solids liquids or gases take the shape of the container in which they are kept container inside a container we can keep what liquid which take the shape of that particular container right so it my answer should be liquid now gases have a fixed volume or a fixed shape or no shape definitely gases have definitely no fixed shape no fixed volume so it must have no shape understood now ice changes to liquid water on heating or cooling or crushing ice changes to liquid after on heating right the answer will be heating now the last one steam ice or wax changes to liquid water on cooling now what do you say definitely steam ice or wax changes to liquid water wax to hoi nahi sakta to definitely ice changes to liquid water on cooling yes no that will be wrong steam will be will changes uh, means if you cool steam what will happen the state the, uh, of steam will be what is gaseous now if we cool that it will become liquid so steam changes to liquid water on cooling due to cooling steam the answer will be steam now come to this activity in activity 3 take a beaker half filled with water then put some sugar into it and stir well now can you see the sugar now you definitely your answer will be no now taste the water is it sweet your answer would be yes but why this is because the sugar has dissolved in the water now the liquid is a sugar solution now this liquid will be known as the sugar solution now in this solution sugar is the solute and water is the solvent now because sugar dissolves easily in water we say that sugar is soluble in water and that can be expressed through this equation sugar which is a solute plus water which is known as solvent it becomes sweet water solution and it is a definitely a solution now what happens when what happens when sugar dissolves in water see we all know that liquid or water has the, the molecules of water are loosely packed we all know about it previously we have discussed in previous video right so that means they are loosely packed means there is a lot of space among their molecules they are as they are loosely packed there must be lots of space available in that uh, inside those molecules right so that means there are some kind of gaps available now if we dissolve if we try to dissolve or st stir a spoonful of sugar there what will happen the molecules of sugar that means the sugar particles will become smaller and smaller which can be fixed or which can enter into those spaces available inside water molecules do you understand my point see initially sugar particles are big enough but due to styling those sugar particles will become smaller why because you have hit that sugar particles with the help of that spoon you have styled it right so you are in, in uh, due to styling what happens the sugar particles become smaller and smaller and due to this smaller size of sugar particle particle which can 
now become eligible or able to get inside those void or spaces or gaps available inside water molecules because we all know that water molecules are light tight not tightly or loosely uh, loosely bound right the molecules are loosely bound they are not tight enough so they must they must have some uh, void or gaps where these sugar molecules gets entered and due to that we cannot we are not being able to see the sugar molecules because sugar molecules sugar become very uh, the particles of sugar become quite small so we cannot see sugar from the sugar in into that uh, that solution but due to the presence of sugar the uh, whole solution becomes what sweet now here sugar is called as solute why it is called solute and water is called as solvent and that this mixture the final mixture is known as solution now what is solute see thus in a glass of water you will definitely add one or two spoon of sugar that means what the amount of sugar is quite small in comparison to water so whose amount whichever amount is smaller whichever jiska bhi amount kam hoga usko bola jayega solute understood that means here sugar part number uh, amount of sugar is quite small in comparison to amount of water so sugar will be solute here and the other the larger portion of the solution is so will be known as solvent that is water now both of them after mixing uh, give birth to a what solution understood so i hope now you it is quite clear now we will just for formality we will start this uh, paragraph when we put sugar in water its molecules scatter throughout the water i have discussed it that means the molecules of sugar gets scattered throughout the water molecule they occupy the empty spaces in between the molecules of water i have told about it so this is why sugar seems to disappear that means we it becomes vanished it looks vanished but actually it is inside that water so when it is dissolved in water it becomes disappeared it seems to be disappeared okay now the sugar solution does not look different from pure water that's why because it, the sugar molecules are getting inside of that empty spaces Do, since empty spaces are previously and now also available there see pre previously there are empty spaces available in that water in that water right so now those empty spaces are just occupied by sugar so the uh, the uh, that means the amount of sugar uh, the amount of water will not be, seem to change seem seem to be changed understood they will become same and it looks like pure water because sugar molecules cannot be seen further because it becomes quite smaller and it gets en uh, entered into those empty spaces so it looks like a pure water only now however it take it tastes sweet so from now we can say that why it becomes sweeter because there are sugar molecules inside those empty spaces of that particular solvent called water now let us compare the volume of the solvent and the solution throughout the following activity so now activity 4 what is there take some water <coughs> in a beaker mark the water level by pasting a strip of paper outside the beaker add 3 teaspoons 
of sugar to the water and stir well what happens to the water level in the beaker it remains the same see you are asked to take a beaker full uh, you you are asked to take some water in in a beaker then you have to mark the level of water okay by any means you can mark it now you have to ask to add three spoonfuls of spoons three spoons of sugar into it into that water and stir it quite well but you can notice you will observe that the uh, level of water remains the same now why it is happening i have already discussed this point in the previous paragraph why because there are lots of free space available inside those water molecules why because we all know that water molecules are loosely packed they are not tightly packed as in the solid so due to that looseness some kind of empty spaces will be available there inside those water molecules understood so due to stirring of sugar the sugar particles become smaller and smaller or it is getting diminished it reaches to uh, a stage where this sugar particles become it is possible for the sugar particle to enter into those empty spaces that is being available inside that uh, water inside the beaker right so those empty spaces are occupied by these sugar uh, diminished form of sugar particles which seem to be disappeared and the level of sugar uh, water does not changes because all the sugar particles get into those empty spaces only due to those sugar particles the extra volume is not being occupied understood so i hope you got it now the above activity shows that the volume of the solution remains almost the same as the volume of the solvent this is because sugar does not take up any extra space i told you that right its molecules only fill up the empty spaces between the molecules of water that's the final verdict that means sugar molecules does not take some extra space they the sugar molecules become smaller and smaller and they are now capable of getting into those empty spaces available in the solvent water that is presently uh, there inside the beaker understood so those empty spaces are being filled out by sugar particles or sugar molecules not extra space is taken by those sugar particles so what happening so we can see that the uh, level of water or solvent becomes uh, remains same or becomes unchanged understood so this is the point and this is the this was the last paragraph which we need to discuss throughout this chapter so these are the basic concepts that we need to discuss from uh, through, uh, throughout this uh, chapter this is the very basic things uh, so we are concluding this uh, this is the concluding video for this particular chapter so i hope all of you have understood it quite well and if you have still not understood if you have any query you can ask question in the comment section and you can say uh, how you uh, would you uh, did you liked the video or not you can put some comment over there and if any kind of query you have then you can us there in the comment section and also i would like to say that if you are not understanding some a few points you just rewind this video uh, more um, for several times and watch the video completely you will definitely come to know 
you will the all all kind of the all kinds of doubts can be cleared from this video definitely right so i simply say that uh, this is a very important chapter so i hope we have con concluded it quite well and if you liked if you really like my video then please press the don't forget to press the like button and uh, subscribe my channel if you, ha you have not yet subscribed it and also please share my videos if it, you think that it is yes worth full that means it is uh, quite understandable and uh, it will be helpful for other students also you please share my videos as far as possible in instagram uh, facebook wherever whatsapp wherever you can you can uh, share my video thank you for watching it and uh, till the next video i wish your good health prosper pros prosper in your study and thank you for watching it and take care of your health bye bye